What's going on everyone? My name is Mike from JMA Fishing and today I'd like to introduce to you the Titan Shed. I initially got my motivation to make this bait based off of my own personal experiences from throwing a big 8 inch lipless crankbait and its ability to just access the fish that uh, I normally can't get with big swim baits. And then I eventually lost that bait and there's just not a whole lot of them made out there. I have no idea why, but it was and knowing that it was going to be next to impossible to find that bait again, I was kind of forced to make my own production model. And I'm very, very happy with my version of it. I feel it's improvements and it has a lot of edge qualities in terms of what it can offer you guys. I made the drop shad to simulate a very, very big gizzard or in touch a very, very big bait fish. I have the back curved so when it's going through the water, it doesn't look kind of ridiculous. That was another issue I had with mine. So the bottom's more flat, but when it's going at an arc, it looks like it's supposed to swim that way. It doesn't look like a, a bait that's supposed to swim straight, but swims like this. So it looks very good in the water. Second of all, I added options. I have four hooks or four spots where you can actually attach stuff. So specs for this gizzard is at eight inches for the body. It's eight ounces. And with the tail extension, when it's actually moving in the water, I mean, you can make it however long you really want. Like this thing is almost darn near a foot. This one's about nine and a half when the spinner's in actuation. And so when you move it through the actual water, um, it definitely increases its size. The drop shack can be casted fairly comfortably with a uh, eight foot heavy swim bait rod or an equivalent to it. It can also be trolled very effectively and can also be jigged vertically up and down very effectively. It has a nice action, has a nice drop action, especially when you keep a little bit of tension on the line just to have it guide so it doesn't kind of spiral down, it drops straight down. So it's actually very versatile. I made this bait specifically for big striper. It's supposed to target big striper that are just down deep and they're just very, very hard to get. And they're not biting hair jigs and they're not biting anything else we throw and they're not biting chokes. So we're just really kind of making a production model bait that'll really get down to the level they are sometimes when we roll over them big deep. They're also made for big large mouth in mind. Big large mouth will take them on. Uh, a lot of people have looked at these and said that, you know, muskie and pike will take them on. So this is my introduction in guys. Let me show you a little bit about what they can do to see if they're going to work for your style of fishing. Check this out. I did not make this bait just to be another big lipless crankbait. I could have gotten that anywhere for probably fairly cheap and they would have only done one big thing, which is like crank through the water. But this bait can be fished in multiple ways. This bait can be slow rolled, cast at the shore and then slowly cranked back. Okay, it doesn't have to be fast ripped or at any certain speed. It can actually do a lot of things. Right here, I'm dragging it through shallow water. And I plan to actually use this bait a lot for spawn fishing for largemouth because of its great presentation in the water, its ability to stand up straight and kind of look like it's pecking at the ground right there. I mean, that's really gonna kick out big largemouth. This thing can be fished for multiple fish. It's not gonna just target big pike or big muskie or big striper or even just big largemouth. It's gonna be a nice all around big bait, big fish style lure. It's supposed to go out to catch the toads of any predatory species in fresh water. That's its main purpose. Because I plan on fishing this bait multiple different ways in multiple presentations to include slow presentations and almost to a complete stop like you're seeing now, I put a lot of extra time and craftsmanship into this bait to give it that extra edge so you can do those things. So it's not just a bait reliant on the vibration factor alone like all other lipless crankbaits. This one can be fished in multiple ways for multiple species. So targeting anything, whether it's from big bass, big striper, all the way to pike or muskie, this is your bait. This bait looks really good with a trailer and it also looks pretty good without a trailer. So I gave you a lot of options. I gave you four eye points, meaning you can run any configuration. You can run two hooks on the bottom, you can run one hook in the front, one hook in the very back like a traditional crank, or you can run all three hooks if you're really having a hard time sticking these fish. Okay, you can run different trailers in the back to give it different lengths. And right here we have a free spinning, uh, like a willow blade on a swivel. And this actually gives the bait a completely different action alone. And depending on how big the, the blade is or how small it is, that really controls the drop action. Right now we have a fairly, like a, that's a size four willow blade. And I'm specifically using this to control the back in terms of how, the, how slow or how fast this bait is going to fall on the jig. So you can completely vertically jig this bait. And it does jig without any um, swivel on the back. It's just a little bit faster and a little bit more erratic. But right here, it's very, very easy to control without having to control your line. It just drops and rises and drops and rises. So people have even discussed with me about just running the tie point through the back eyelet 
and then running hooks on all the other different eyelets and then jigging it vertically as so. So they have complete control over the tail with the nose doing all the work to dive. This bait is also going to be available in a lot of different color patterns and they're custom made to order. So when they're ordered, they're made. So each one's individual. So if you're interested in one of these, check us out on YouTube at Jarmouth Addict. Check us out on Instagram at Jarmouth Addict Swim Baits. And check us out on Facebook. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tight lines. Mm.